Welcome to Miller Online Tutorial. Now, before us is question 60 of the NECO 25 objective question, and it shows that if y equals x squared minus 1 by x, find dy dx at x equals 1. Okay, now for us to find dy dx from this function, now recall that uh, uh, the, 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 the general formula for differentiation is when you have y equals x to the power of what n which can be from 1 upward then dy dx dy dx which means differentiating y with respect to x you have n x to the power of what n minus what 1 okay so let us apply this rule to this okay however this is 1 all over x we can actually change it to an index giving us the y equals x squared minus x to the power of what minus 1. Okay, so let's start. Now dy dx, which means differentiating y with respect to x. Now so you can see that this is just something as z. What you need to do is now drop n as the case here. So let us drop our 2 here, then x, then 2 minus 1 as n minus 1, you have what 1. Then minus, then in this case now you have to drop your negative 1, 1, then x raised to the power of what? Negative 1 minus 1 as the case is here. So what else do we do? You have dy all over dx, then equals 2x. Now, opening this bracket here, minus times minus will give us what? Plus, then 1. So plus, then our x raised to the power of what? negative or 2 because my uh, negative 1 minus 1 will give us what negative 2 so what else do we do now at x equals 1 what does that imply now wherever we see uh x here we plug in what 1 so so here we have that this is 2 into 1 now plus 1 which is power what minus 2 so dy dx will now be now 2 times 1 here is 2 now plus now two. 1 raised to the power of negative 2 is the same thing as what 1 so plus 1 so dy dx here will now give us what 3 2 plus 1 equals 3 so our answer here is what e thank you and god bless you